I have been asked many times over the past few days whether I still remain long on Bitcoin, whether I still believe higher prices are going to come, and whether I have changed my trading plan. In this video, I'm here to tell you I am still long, I still expect higher prices to come, and I will tell you the trading plan that I'm using right now. So in this video, I only ask one thing of you, and that is that you can please pay attention, because I'm going to be sharing some really useful insights and knowledge with you on this chart of how to successfully trade the price action to come. So when we are hitting the targets that I have above us, you know, you are well prepared, ready to understand the reaction that we're looking to trade. So let's go straight into the video, straight into the important information that you want to know and explaining exactly what I'm looking for next. So of course I am in a long trade and I still expect higher prices to come. Uh, there has been a bit of movement over the past 48 hours. Of course, my last video was made on Tuesday. Since then, we've had a little bit of a decline, bringing us back up to the same price where we were on Tuesday. And the reasons for this is very simple. I'm going to explain in 30 seconds. Uh, basically, price was on this downward trajectory locally. And at that time, it just felt likely, as I then said on Wednesday, you know, before we take a long, we need to wait for a further decline in price. So we want to see a loss of the NPOC to take out these series of lows here. Okay, take out these series of lows here. Hold overall a higher low. So from the low here, we're looking for a higher low, but we're looking to take out these series of lows and lose the NPOC. That will take out our lower liquidity before seeing the sign of strength of the reclaim. And then that gives us our entry trigger for the long trade. So there's a few factors that I want to share with you here. And that is, first of all, okay, first of all, a very important point, which is slightly off topic, but that is when I say in a YouTube video, uh, I am in a long trade and I am expecting higher prices to come. Okay, that does not mean instantly right now at that time long. You have to remember, I was long from the swing forward pattern of the overall range low. Okay, so we'd already seen an increase in price from there. So that's one thing you have to understand is that just because I say I am in a long and I am looking for higher does not mean instantly long now, okay? That is not what you should be doing. You should be making a plan and thinking to yourself, okay, if Daniel is long and expecting higher, I'm going to make a plan of looking to long the next retrace in price. And that is, you know, if you struggle to make those plans, if you are a very emotional trader and you find yourself trading off of words, well, first of all, you have to learn technical analysis, okay? And second of all, you have to really understand high probability trade setups and what's to come next. Again, if you struggle with that, then you know that's where you have the website where you can educate yourself and learn all the content necessary to make plans, or you could just follow along with the plans, direct plans that I give you within the Discord, right? And from here, we were looking at the decline, loss of the level, take the liquidity, for the sign of strength back up to $31,000. Well, we can see really nicely how we did get that further decrease in price. We did take the lows and we've now started to see that sign of strength. We did also hold this higher low here. So it was very nice indeed. And I still remain looking for higher prices. I still am in those long trades. Doesn't mean I'm opening along right now, but I am still looking for higher prices. But I personally, yeah, would not long right now. But yeah. Once again, looking for higher prices, and I will explain those targets for you now. So really simply above us right here, we have the CC Fibonacci. Always for me, a very important level to be aware of. What we also have here is the series of highs. And just above that, of course, we have that $31,000. So for me, it's a very simple process, but you have to remember I've been doing this now coming on 13 years. So this is a long time inside of trading. So I do have the experience and calmness necessary for me to say right now, I'm in a long trade from lower. This is sat in profits. I do not want to take a short trade from here. Why? Because I do not have an executable reason entry trigger for a short. Thus, I will not short here. Neither would I actually open a long here. But I feel the probabilities are higher for higher prices to come. So when I'm in that situation, it requires patience to follow my plan, which is essentially still along this lines. Okay, I'm still looking for the test of higher prices. If I am incorrect and we hold the lower high here and we fall down in price, well, that's where I would have been incorrect by not shorting this. Okay, 
Now, obviously, there are people shorting right now, as we could see if we look over here in the order flow. There are definitely people shorting this price and shorting this move, expecting a lower high. I am, of course, not in that category. I am myself following my own trading plan, which is that we will not hold this lower high. We will break above it. From here, we'll get the test of a, the CC, and then I can make my next informed decision. And that is we get a rejection from 31,000 to the CC zone. And then I could look for that short trade back down to support. Alternatively, we get through this level, hold it as support. And then I can be looking back up towards my overall target still of those new yearly highs. Okay, so you can see how trading requires a lot of patience a lot of the time. We're not I'm personally, I'm more of a swing trader now. So I'm not taking trades, you know, every single minute of the day. No, I'm taking maybe one trade a day and I need to remain patient for that. Sometimes, you know, just two trades a week I'm taking in terms of Bitcoin right now because I'm interested in the what I class high probability trades, which just then require patience once taken, understanding and monitoring the order flow to see if those probabilities change. But I have nothing in the order flow. I have no target hit and I've got no reason that I won't be getting the higher prices that I expect. So I want to just give a quick announcement. And this is based off of the feedback that we had off of the 20% discount off of Bybit. Of course, we got everybody 20% discount, but that was for new members only for the new people that sign up under our link. Uh, and we had people asking if we could get an existing uh, link for people that are already under our affiliate. And we have managed to do uh, a deal for you. And that is a new VIP promo. So this, of course, gives you discounts <laughs> and more for being VIP on Bybit. So if you want to take advantage of this, I will leave the Google Forms um, down in the description below where you can take advantage to get VIP for up to 30 days, which, of course, gives you a lot of uh, bonuses within Bybit trading. Uh, so I will just leave this down in the description or comment section below. And I will remind you, if you want to see these type of updates from me of what I'm looking for next, very precise updates, uh, as well as all the educational content, you know, the inbuilt journal, the cheat sheets, the templates for this order flow, then that's what you get over on the website, chartchampions.com. All the education, the live trading. OK, we've got, of course, then daily live streams as well. So we've got the altcoin live stream for you today. So if you want to take advantage of altcoins, we've got now a weekly live stream dedicated to altcoins, which is also going to be happening for you today. I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Here are the higher prices I was looking for. And that just goes to show you where that level of patience required to hold the trigger at times, wait for those high probability trades, and really take advantage of not only the plans, but then, you know, hold, I want to say hold power in yourself of remaining non-emotional. You know, you don't see me emotional right now. You don't, I'm not excited. I'm not sad. I'm just, hey, this is what I was expecting. This is now playing out. You know, there's nothing right now for me to say short. So I'll wait to see if this higher end POC gets tested, which as we can see, if you come over to here, we got coming in at just above $31,000. Okay, so you can see it there, 31,010. So I'll either wait for the test of this or alternatively weakness in the order flow and a loss of the level of the CC. Um, and, you know, then I would make my next informed decision. Again, if you struggle with those informed decisions based off of order flow, well, I will be updating my team in the side of the champions discord if we see weakness, which has not occurred yet. So there's I'm not going to say to my team there's weakness, right? So if we do see weakness and you struggle to understand when that happens, well, I will tell my team inside of the Discord, which has, of course, not happened yet. So for me, it remains clear, remain patient. Let's say for our next test, I will remain looking at the order flow. And if and when we get weakness, I would execute that short trade, which for now has simply not happened. So I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. Hope you've understood the explanations. If you want more education, if you want more in-depth updates, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. And there you go, continued higher based off the order flow. It's in front of your eyes if you want to learn it. Cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.